Today, mail-in ballots will start going out to voters in Hillsborough County. Many more people are choosing to vote by mail this year because of the pandemic. And this comes as you've heard calls from the president that mail-in voting will lead to rigged elections, Now, even though he's been voting by mail himself. Rob Finnerty takes us beyond the headline to look at the history of mail-in voting and where it's already used on a regular basis. You may remember these photos from back in April, showing voters in Wisconsin struggling to maintain social distancing and good hygiene after the state's Supreme Court upheld a ruling that in-person voting had to continue despite the outbreak. Those pictures renewed calls for expanding voting by mail. Five states already vote entirely by mail, but in some places you can only get an absentee ballot if you're over 65, disabled, or are prevented from voting in person. Luckily, that's not the case in Florida. As long as you're registered to vote, you can request a mail-in ballot. Many conservatives argue that allowing widespread voting by mail would lead to voter fraud. But supporters say that the five states that already do their elections by mail, Utah, Hawaii, Oregon, Washington, and Colorado, haven't had any fraud. But no matter what side of the debate you fall on, expect the issue to heat up as the election gets closer and closer. If you are a registered voter here in Florida, you can vote by mail for any reason. In fact, most local election offices are encouraging people to vote by mail this year because of the pandemic, of course, and it seems people are doing just that. Hillsborough County, for example, says it received twice as many requests for mail-in ballots than in 2016, the presidential primary.